here we have all the parts assembled for the construction of an infield rifled musket Pritchett cartridge. We have the powder cylinder, the inner wrapper, the outer wrapper, the bullet, the mandrel, a sharp knife, a glue stick, some tape, and a string to choke the cartridge with. The first step is to roll the powder cylinder, which is made out of a piece of two by four and three quarter inches cardstock cut from a standard manila file folder. The mandrel is simply a piece of doweling that's half an inch thick. I found that by applying a little bit of glue stick to the inside keeps its form over repeated use and serves to further stiffen the powder cylinder. Once it's rolled tightly, secured with a piece of tape, and withdrawn slightly, ready for the next step. The next step is to roll the inner wrapper around the powder cylinder and the inner wrapper is made of a piece of wax paper that is three by two and a half. If you roll it in the same direction it serves to further tighten the powder cylinder. And holding it tightly between your fingers and rotating the powder cylinder inside the inner wrapper also serves the same function. Again, secured with a single piece of tape. Then, the end pinched and rotated followed by the use of the end of the round indented so that the round in the further assembly of the cartridge will fit correctly. Then the outer wrapper secured at its top edge with a couple of pieces of tape. The next step is to score the outer wrapper with three cuts made with your knife in the lower left corner corresponding to the first or inner wrap around the bullet. You'll notice that they're formed thus. Then with your powder cylinder and inner wrapper on the mandrel and the round that you've cast already assemble the three together and wrap the outer wrapper around the bullet and the powder cylinder and inner wrapper so that as you can see the bottom edge of the bullet corresponds to the bottom edge of those cut marks. That's in this position here. Ensure that it's rolled tightly and I found the most effective way to make sure that the wrapper is around the bullet tightly is use a simple ratcheting motion with my fingers smoothing out and taking up any slack in the paper. Two or three times around is usually sufficient and secure the wrapper with a piece of tape.
step is to choke the paper around the bottom of the bullet. And this is done on a choking string, which in this case is made out of two strands of relatively light gauge nylon that I got out of the core of some paracord. But you can yard on it quite easily to the point where it will actually break the paper. So it's more than strong enough. So we give one wrap around the outer wrapper slightly below the line, the bottom edge of the bullet. Then, with your finger on the end to make sure that it's formed correctly, pull so that the paper chokes and then rotate 180 degrees and choke again. This ensures that there's a uniform choke all the way around. Then tie it off with your string. I found that a three knot technique seems to work quite well. Leaving you with a good secure base to the cartridge, ready for trimming. See that the rosebud is formed nicely. There's an even gather of paper all around the bottom of the round.